Hi guys, in this video I thought I'd uh, draw a little diagram of the switch circuit I put in the wooden extension on the workshop. Now there is a couple of ways you can do this depending on the type of lighting you've got. Um, this one isn't the most common anymore, but uh, um, I didn't have the right colours either. Technically live should be brown. But uh, I've done it in red here. Okay. This is the colours that you're supposed to have in modern British cables. Live is brown, neutral is blue, uh, is uh, green and yellow. But I've done earth in pencil here. Anyway, you have your feed coming in. It doesn't matter what um, terminal posts you put these wires on. But uh, I've used this one up here for the live. So I've got the live here, and I've got the neutral there, uh, down here, and then what you need to do is the wire that comes from the switch, you connect the red to the live, or the brown to the live, so it'll be brown to brown on the feed. Neutral will then go down to live, which should be brown in, in modern wiring, or red if it's older, um, to the live going out to the light fitting. And you must sleeve with a bit of red sleeving or even red tape the um, blue wire to mark that it is live. Earth's all secured to the same post, then your t neutral from your light connects to the neutral to your feed. And it is as simple as that. And if you've got to loop to the, another circuit, then you just... These junction boxes can take four cables as four inlets, so you just put another cable in the spare one and uh, secure your earth to your earth terminal using earth sleeving if you're using twin and earth. Live to your live terminal, neutral to your neutral terminal. Simple. Um, I've also done a diagram showing the other method. If you've got a ceiling rose, for a standard um, pendant light fitting. This is your neutral to your light fitting, live to the light fitting. And it's basically just the same principle. You've just got your terminals in a ceiling rows. You have your three connection blocks, cable inlet, earth terminal. I haven't actually put the earths in here, but that's where your earths would go. And then you've got this pair. This side is my feed. So I've put the feed to the center connector block, which usually has four connections on it. Neutral to the one that has three connections. And of course the switch wire, so I connect the red wire to the switch to the um, feed, so it goes on the center. And then the neutral that comes from the switch, which would in this case will be live, goes to the two um, terminal connection. This one's got two. I don't know why they do it like that. You know, connects to basically connects to the life to your light fitting. And again, you've still got to sleeve it with red sleeving. And don't forget your earths have got to be sleeved as well. And again, if you've got a wire that you need to loop to the next light fitting, and it's just the same principle, you just connect your earth to the earth, neutral to the neutral terminal and live to the centre. Simple. And then just take your wire to the next light circuit. Easy peasy electrics. <clears throat> but, uh, it was easier to do it in a diagram like this than it was to try and verbally explain it. So, But uh, because I had fluorescent lights in the wooden extension then there wasn't anywhere else to do the switch circuit so I just opted for the um, junction box. So all this is just a 5 amp junction box. Should have said that in the first place, really. Five amp junction box for light and circuits. You could use a thirty amp, which is usually used on um, ring mains and whatnot and other things. But you know, you could always go bigger but not smaller. This depends because these five amps I find can be quite fiddly to work in, and I don't get cheap ones because they are crap. The one I used was actually a cheap one from um, Roy's and. 
the plastic quality is crap. Actually, I broke part of the plastic off on one of them. Accidentally. I didn't even mean to. I was only tightening up the screw and it just went ping. So, yeah. And most um, junction boxes have the four terminal posts laid out like that. You do get some while I've got the connections in the middle. A bit like the um, similar layout to this. We're going through the middle of a junction box. I haven't seen many of those. Most I've come across have got the four posts. But, uh, yeah, I've just used a little 5 amp one. Because that's all I need in there. I don't need anything bigger than that. It's only running two lights and that's plenty big enough. Um... So yeah, just thought I'd do a little, pretty much a board, so I thought I'd do a explanation instead of, you know, trying to talk to the camera and let people imagine what, it, what, what I was doing. At least you can see what I was doing. Badly, but you can see what I was doing. <clears throat> anyway, well there's a video here for future reference. Well, uh, Hold the camera there so you can get a good view of it. I actually forgot to label that, that's the light cable. Anyway, any questions you can always feel free to ask. Um, thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next video.